ready to go. Ready to go. What's going on guys? It's Derek here from Simnet Nutrition. So today I'm going to show you how to make vegan sushi or vegan veggie rolls or rice rolls, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's a little bit intimidating at first when you don't know the skill or if you've never tried it before, but I'm going to show you some tips and some tricks and with a little bit of practice, you're going to wonder why you've been buying sushi all this time. So what I'm going to do is show you guys everything that I have here that you need to make it and then I'm going to prepare all the veggies, so chop them up nice and thin and then I'm going to call Crystal in while I teach you guys how to lay everything out and how to roll it and then I'm gonna get her to try to make her own roll to see if she can follow my instructions and then I can kind of correct her along the way which might help you guys out because I'm sure there's gonna be some things that I kind of forget to mention that I just do instinctively because I've been making these rolls for so long now. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're obviously gonna need is some rice, preferably some sticky rice. Uh, I've used brown rice here and to make it sticky I just put a little bit of extra water in it and I cook it for longer. So that's one of my favorite things to make sushi with, but here's a combo that I've been doing lately that's also really, really good, uh, and it's a mixture of quinoa and white rice. So it's about half and half, both quinoa and white rice, and before I cook it, I rinse it a lot until the water starts to run clear, and then, like with the brown rice, I just cook it with a little bit of extra water for a little bit longer, uh, and it always comes out really, really good. I've tried to make it with just quinoa before and it's kind of tricky, it tends to fall apart a little bit more. So this is really nice because you get like that fluffiness of the white rice, but then you also get like all the nutritive components of the quinoa as well. So it's a pretty cool little combo. So another thing that you're going to need are obviously nori sheets. Whoa! So these nori sheets are a great source of iodine, which is really important to have a source of iodine in your diet. So here's the type that we use here. Uh, it's just that popular brand called Sea Snacks. You're also gonna wanna have a nice sharp knife. This is a chef's knife. Really key if you guys are chopping lots of veggies and making lots of healthy food, having a good knife is really important. If you're trying to do it with just like a little paring knife, don't even bother. Go out, spend the money, get a good knife. Um, you know, they're around $100 to $150. You can get a really, really nice quality knife. And then you're also gonna need one of these, which is the rolling mat or a bamboo mat. You can roll the sushi freehand, um, and I do that lots. It just doesn't come out quite as tight and it's a little bit more difficult for beginners. And then from there on, it's really just up to you. But honestly, just get creative and put in the things that you like. If there's some stuff here that I'm using that you don't like, uh, put in something else. And I would love to hear about what you guys put in uh, down in the comments below. But here's what I have. So I just cooked up some purple sushi. Purple sushi, that's not sushi already. Some purple yams that I just steamed and then we just peeled the skin off it because the skin was a little bit chewy. So I'm gonna chop those up a little bit more because they're still a little big for the rolls. Then I also have some tofu here that I've marinated and baked. Uh, the marinade is from my recipe ebook. So basically what's in it is just like tahini, brags, which is similar to a soy sauce, some garlic powder. I put a little bit of hot sauce in this one and then a little bit of mustard. And you just mix it all up and uh, bake it like that. And then I'm also going to put some spinach in this one and then cucumber, such a classic ingredient in sushi. I'm gonna chop up this really nice and fine because I love carrot in my sushi. And then also uh, avocado is a must, makes it it's kind of the glue that holds it all together. Well, not actually, but it definitely brings all the flavors together. So I'm gonna chop all this stuff up and then we're gonna call Crystal in and teach you guys how to put it all together. I'm okay. All right, so now that we have all the veggies chopped, I think we're ready for Crystal. Crystal! Okay, mm. are you ready to make some sushi? Yes. Do you like sushi? Mm, <laughs> depends on the seaweed. I like the inside of the sushi, but I'm not fond of seaweed. I don't really <laughs> like the taste. It tastes kind of fishy. So to get started, I like having two cutting boards for this. One where you can like put your veggies on and one where you can roll on. You take a piece of this nori and you put it shiny side down onto this mat. And then of course you get the rice. So the first one we're just going to use this brown rice that I made. When you go to a sushi restaurant, it's traditional for them to season it with sugar uh, and rice wine vinegar. So if you guys wanted to do, did you know that? I did know that. Oh, you did know that. 
So this is gonna make it a little bit healthier because I'm not gonna put anything in that. I think that the taste of like the veggies and then dipping it in like a little bit of tamari or soy sauce or brags in the case uh, of us or me at least that I use. I think there's more than enough flavor there that I don't have to make the rice like sugary. All right, you wanna fluff it up a bit so it's not too clumpy. You want to put the rice on the two thirds of the nori sheet that are closest to you and you wanna spread it out as flat as you can. So you wanna make sure you get it all the way to the corners and to the edges. So now we pick out all the delicious veggies that we want that we've just chopped up. So I'm gonna pretty much put everything on here that I just made, or that I just chopped up, I should say. And you wanna put it like towards the bottom? Yes, very good question, Crystal. So you wanna put it close to you so that when you roll everything over, um, I don't know I don't know why. This is just how you do it, this is how I learned, and it's always worked for me like this, okay? Well, because so it makes you, it even, because if you roll everything, like if you put it in the middle, you'd have like a roll where it wouldn't, it didn't yes, have anything exactly. in the inside, it would be kind of weird. Exactly, thank you, Crystal. And you can have it coming out the edges a little bit. That's only gonna make those end pieces look a little bit extra fancy. Everyone's gonna go, ooh, wow, you really know what you're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be like, yeah, I watched Sumo Nutrition do it, and yeah, I well, did better. I watched Sumo Nutrition, the master sushi maker. <laughs> and I will put a little bit of this spinach, because it's nice to have a bit of greenery in there. So now, the rolling process. This is where it will take a little bit of practice. I'll do my best to teach you guys uh, my tricks. When you roll everything over, it has a tendency to want to like fall onto itself. Uh, so that's why it's important that you get the edge of the nori and rice that's right here to meet the edge of the nori and the rice that's right there. Uh -huh. And then you use the, the strength of the bamboo, which is very strong. <laughs> very strong. <laughs> use the strength of the bamboo to squeeze everything together. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. And you try to do it in one quick swoop. Be confident, like with anything in life, you can do this. So you kind of put your hands on all the ingredients so that they don't go flying everywhere. And you just make sure that those join, boom. And then you pull this back. Okay. While holding, you can hold on to it a little bit. Okay. You don't want to pull on the sushi. You yeah. just want to make sure it doesn't slide. And you pull everything tight. And then I have a handy bowl of water here because Smart. you need this because you need it to stick. Uh, so I just just jam my hand in there. Maybe if you're making it for other people and you want it to look a little bit more sanitary, you could use like a spoon or something. But it's just me, so I'm just gonna get my hand right in there. And you just roll it on there, kind of like you are, you know, uh, licking an envelope. But you don't want to lick this. You just want to use water. Once you get there, you pull this back a little bit so that this so that so that it can join because that's where it's gonna stick to, it's gonna stick to itself. And then you just continue to roll it. Once it's all together, you guys probably see them doing this in the sushi restaurants. Put the, the um, bamboo back around it and you just give it a good squeeze because it makes everything nice and tight. Mmm, interesting. And there you have it. It's hard. So let's cut it open and we'll see how we did. If you want, you can wet the knife here. It tends to help it go through it a little bit better but not necessary. If you have a really sharp knife, it should be okay. So even though it's a non-serrated knife, you still want to use a sawing action because it helps get through the nori without squashing everything. Mm. Oh, Holy smokes. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So ideally you want an even ring of rice around the outside. Hmm. But when you first start, don't get discouraged if it's like um, a lot more rice on the top and then it's just like, straight veggies and goodness on the bottom uh, right against the nori because that happens and you know the only way the only way to, to you know happen. make that better is just by practicing and doing more but as long as it's all in there uh it's a sushi roll in my you know in my opinion are you ready to try it i am ready to try it okay <laughs> so first step sushi Nori. Nori. It's not Nori. sushi yet. <laughs> She's just like uh, done. <laughs> Shiny side down. White rice and quinoa. Put it a little bit in the middle. No, it's okay. Very good grasshopper. And you don't have to mush it down too hard or else you're going to get a really firm sushi roll. It won't be like nice and light and airy. Okay. So you just want to spread it out the best that you can. This is the best I can. And remember, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think that looks good. Yep. I might go a little further this way and just make a nice straight line across there. Oh man. 
Okay, so pick your toppings, even though you're probably not gonna eat it. I'll try it. Yum. Avocado and very long piece of tofu. Nice. <laughs> cool. Whew. Yeah, so maybe we won't put this, the spinach in there at first for you because it does make it harder because there's more going on and it flies all over. Oh god, oh. Let, okay, remember, take a breath and just be confident. Yes. <laughs> yeah, get those edges to meet. <laughs> Perfect. Just got, I'm not even gonna look. So you can let go with one hand and you kind of hold that and you put, pull back I and make sure you pull it back all along, all along the edges, all the way to this side. Back. Oh, and you remember the water? Peel that part away. Oh no. That's okay, nothing's gonna happen. And then, <gasps> it's okay. Look at that, I did and then, it. Yeah, you roll it on itself, and then you just kinda, yeah. You just kinda squeeze it all together now. Let's cut it open and see how you did. Okay. Well, diggity. really good. Cucumber not really in the middle. No, that's okay. Really, really good for your first try. I'm impressed. All right guys, so this one that we're gonna make is the inside out roll with the rice on the outside. So one thing that you have to do is you have to cover this sushi mat in saran wrap. Everything in life is okay if you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I can't figure out my brain if it would be shiny side up or down. It doesn't really matter. But that we don't put it down way. yet, so you need to put the rice down. No, you don't put the rice down. What are you gonna put the rice down and then stick it on like paper mache yeah, or something? Yeah, and then, no. then more rice and then you put the stuff. You know what? That's no. not how you do it. No, oh. you're gonna repeat the process the same way as we did before. So we're gonna go shiny side down. I'm not 100% sure if that's the way to do it. And then we're gonna fill in the rice the exact same way that we did before. So the bottom two thirds closest to you. Or you just like pat rice you'll, onto you'll it? You'll see. Right. No, you don't pat rice onto it. You crazy man, you know, brain. Now that it looks exactly the same as it did before, it's gonna blow your mind, is we're going to flip this oh, over. Oh, that's how you do it. And then we're going to put the ingredients right on the nori. We do the, almost exactly the same thing. You just take this edge here and you roll it over and then once it gets over there, you just kind of squeeze it all together and then continue to roll it and hope for the best. I really, I've only ever done this once or twice so I really shouldn't be teaching it, but uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm seeing a problem in the process <laughs> because it's just gonna cover this whole thing. How does it? So how do they do that? Okay, so okay, what no, you, got, you have to cut it. You have to okay, cut it. yeah, we you have to cut it. Yeah, yeah, we messed up a little bit, but not bad. Okay, get that out of here. <laughs> and excellente. There we have it. Inside out roll. Inside out roll. Sort of. I don't know about that. Okay, let's try, let's cut it and we'll see. That's perfect. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It might not be the exact way that sushi masters make it, but that's the way that I make it here in the Simnet Nutrition head office in the kitchen here. <laughs> All right. So that's basically it. You guys learned how to make vegan sushi. I hope that it helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed any tips or tricks that you guys know that you use. Um, and I hope this helps you. So enjoy your sushi. We're gonna go and eat this. Well, at least I am. And should we make Crystal have a piece? Oh man, I'll try a piece. I okay. just don't know. It's very seaweedy. Sushi, I can smell okay. It. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you guys like seeing us both cook together. And we'll see you guys soon with a new one. Oh. <laughs> it's very seaweedy. <laughs>